What's up everyone and welcome back. It is a warm early morning in Ohio. 6 a.m., 51 degrees, raining. I'm at the airport, no time to lose. Gotta get through security, the place looks busy. Really not a morning person and I'm not a coffee drinker and I don't drink caffeine so it takes me a little while to get going. I've only had five hours of sleep today so it's gonna be one of them days. Try to sleep on the plane. Just made it through security, huge line. Uh, that took like 40 minutes to get through. Still on time. Searched my bag, I had this bag of uh, dead sea salt and uh, they had to do like this chemical analysis drip test thing on it to make sure it was salt. That was crazy. Security checkpoints are so disgusting. I've flown a lot, I have flown a lot and I have never not once seen someone mop the floor. Tens of thousands of people every day walk through there with no shoes or sweaty dirty socks or filthy feet and I've never seen anyone clean the floor once and everyone's required to walk through either barefoot or in their socks. It's disgusting. I've never seen anyone ever cleaning the belts, the floor, nothing. It freaks me out. It creeps me out that my socks just picked up some weird foot fungus or foot disease. It's disturbing how they think it's acceptable. Alright, enough negativity. We are in Vegas. We're in a heck of a cab line here in Vegas. So we are lining up in numbers and then a cab comes and picks you up at your number. It is an insanely busy week here in Vegas. A few monster trade shows going on. Lucky cab. Caesar's Palace. I'm going, I need to go to the Octavius Conference Hall. guys just getting into my first stop uh, you know there's so many things and so many reasons why people come to Vegas uh, whether you're getting married or whether you're partying and what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas but when we come here it's always business always business this place is trade show central this is where the largest trade shows in America are held so I'm headed into a trade show of ours right now and uh, actually I may get a bite to eat that was a long flight and I haven't really eaten so I may get a bite to eat Huge! This revolving door is huge! These places are so massive, it's like going to a mall, they got a whole map. I'm here, I need to get to here. Vegas is known for buffet, so here I am, Caesar's Palace Buffet. Oh man, my hand. That's a serious plate of bacon. I stopped at breakfast. I'm gonna eat a breakfast here, and uh, there it is, and I also got a little thing of french fries too, because they look too good to pass up, so breakfast and maybe some french fries. I'm really glad I was able to catch some sleep on the plane. Vegas will wear you out going from Ohio to here, because there's a three hour uh, time difference, so I left at eight in the morning, and I got here at nine in the morning, Vegas time. So at 9 p.m. tonight, Vegas time, it's gonna be midnight in my brain. I'm gonna be tired and beat, and everyone else is wanna keep on going, so Vegas is tough the first few nights. And then what happens is you get used to it, and then you wind up staying up later and later and later, and then when you go back to Ohio, 
then it kills you. Then you're staying up late, you can't get up early. It, it's, it's terrible on the brain. I'm gonna finish this breakfast off with some fruit, and I will be ready to hit this trade show in Vegas. I don't know how they do it, but this watermelon is phenomenal. It's like midsummer since I've had a watermelon this good. They must import them from some island somewhere, but so good. So I'm meeting up with all sorts of people out here in Vegas, and um, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be exciting. Uh, there may be some craziness going on. We're about to meet the first person I'm meeting out here. Someone very special, you all know her. I see her, might recognize her. Is got a tag. Nice. <laughs> good morning. How you doing? Good. Is Vegas, everything is over the top, huge clouds on the ceilings, millions and millions of dollars to do this stuff. All right, well, I got my badge. You can't get into any of these trade shows without a badge. You have to have one. Sometimes they're necklaces, other times they clip to your shirt or on your pants, but you gotta have one to get in. So here it is, here's the show we are doing today. And this is everything from closeout, uh, Army, Navy surplus goods, to brand new camo clothing, airsoft, uh, pretty much anything you find in an Army, Navy store. I mean, they're all... Guys, our next very special guest that we're meeting here in Vegas. We're in the trade show, we're in booth. Here we go, you might recognize him. <laughs> My dad! You wondered where I was at, didn't you? Yeah! You missed me in all those 45 other vlogs, didn't you? <laughs> well, for the first time ever, let me show you a simple trade show booth for Atwood Rope. This is like, this is how we roll. Here's our display cases. Tactical rope dispenser. Guys, it's simple, it's inexpensive. You would be surprised how expensive trade show booths are. And typically we only need one booth. That's how, that's how we've always done it. And it works really well. So inevitably, if you make a product or you have something that you're working on, uh, you ultimately have to sell it. And if you're not going direct online, you have to make, get stores to buy it. You have to get distributors to buy it. And you come to trade shows. So you get a little booth at a trade show, you pay a fortune, <laughs> and uh, you hope it works out. It's, it's kind of like sales and marketing, but on a wholesale level. Everyone here walking the show to buy owns a store or is a distributor or they have some sort of foothold in the industry. I actually want to give you a kind of reenactment of how this might go with a buyer. I'm going to be playing the part of the buyer. My dad is going to be the sales rep. And uh, I'll kind of give you a run through on how this might work. Well, just browsing the trade show. Hey, hey. What yeah. type of store you got? Uh, you know, general outdoor gun shop. You know, we sell fishing tackle, stuff like that. I got something really cool for you. You want to check it out? Sure, yeah. So this, this is new this year. And uh, I think you're really going to like it. I think you can sell it. Check this out. Sometimes uh, a little video is better than words. So I thought you'd like this. Oh yeah, I think I saw this video online yeah, a few one of weeks the, back. You know, I would be interested in carrying this in my store. You guys have a good wholesale program? Yes. That is a yes. <laughs> Gee, that pricing is undisputable. I would like to stock that in my store. I gotta say, I currently don't carry rope in my store. Like, why, why would I need to carry rope in my store? Because you can fix it with rope. The thing is, is rope is a tool. It's the same as having a hammer, a nail, a saw. It just, it's gonna do a job. If it's not tape, it's rope. You can tie things down. I gotta say, I'm blown away and I'm ready to buy. Let's ride up in order. So look at this. If this isn't like painting a picture, the Roman warrior, then muscular. The Roman general, I mean, it makes sense. Giving orders or pillaging villages and <laughs> destroying whole countries. It would make sense that they would need to be strong and fit. All right, so we're in the Viva Las Vegas and there's infinity nice restaurants on the strip and in the casinos, but one place they don't have back home is a place called Claim Jumper. So we're here now and the place is phenomenal and we always come here when we're in Vegas. <laughs> Main thing I like here is their cornbread croutons on their salad. Mmm. So for those of you who don't know what Claim Jumper is, it's been like five years since I've been here, but the best I can describe it is like close to a cheesecake factory. The menu is huge. They have like every genre you can think of. They have something good in every genre. It's like a 12 page menu, it's ridiculous. Some garlic bread and some oh zucchini. My God. Look at that thing. Ranch maybe? Mm. 
Look at that. Is that all beautiful? looks good. All looks really good. Look at that cake. Six layers. Church. All right, well, dinner was fantastic, yeah. as usual. This place we're in right now is almost like a Easton Town Center where we come from, or like a player. Like, it's really fancy. It's Look all outdoors. Trees. Look at them trees. Yeah, I mean, so this is just part of the strip, and we're just getting here. It's already huge and massive. You can get in the little paddle boats yeah, and ride the river around. Boat. This place is jammed. Bye, Dad. Where are we going? Jellyfish tentacles everywhere. You're not gonna believe this. Look who I ran into. You may not even know who it is, but uh, we got my man from the Die Hard trilogy. Bruce Willis, what's going on, Bruce? He's not a very talkative one. Bruce. 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 I get nothing. Bruce. I don't know what's going on. It's like you can't even hear me. Look who we met. It's such a good honor to meet you. I love your work in speed. Sandra Bullock, everyone. <laughs> no joke, I feel like I'm in a celebrity party. Justin Timberlake, everyone. He looks legit. That looks like a real human being. No doubt. Matthew McConaughey, good to see you. Looking good, my man, looking real good. Doesn't say much. I don't know what it is, but just from looking in his eyes, I can tell he's a Lincoln guy for sure. All right guys, if you haven't figured out, we are in fact at a wax museum and these things are amazingly lifelike. Mr. Brad Pitt, ladies and gentlemen. Brad, you mind if I get a pic? You mind if I get a pic? I, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna put my hand on your shoulder, Brad. I hope you don't mind. Oh, you're warm. Is that a new suit? Brad, looking good, my man. I'll take offenses because I know your hands are stuck in your pocket, but you got set, right? Yeah, let me get it. Let me get it. Oh, I got it. I got it. Hey, you're welcome, my man. Looking sharp. My man, Will Smith. Hey, uh, from what I understand, you're a pretty big domino topper these days, huh, Will? Oh. Will, can I get a shot in? Will. Yeah, dude, I guess he stacks some mean dominoes. Here's famous musicians, apparently. Michael. Um, you all know the famous Madonna. Just kidding, it's Miley Cyrus. Miley, how do you hang on to that all day? That looks like hard work. All right, so we're gonna go back and get a pic of The Rock. Text it to Roman and see what he says. I'm gonna put something like, bro, you have no, you have no idea who I just met and send that picture and see what he says. I got the pictures, but they just didn't turn out right. The one guy in here, he's just, he looks plasticky. I don't know if you can see it, but... I, I think he just looks too plasky and he's not gonna buy it. He's not gonna buy it, it looks fake. This is irony at its finest. A wax museum and you get to wax the floor. A dream come true, it's like wax inception. To be honest, uh, the most realistic looking so far, I think, is Sandra Bullock. Yeah, Sandra Something Bullock. Something about, they, they did that one right. It's like the flatness of the skin, like as soon as they get glossy, it's over, they look plastic. 50s, early, early Vegas maybe? Yeah, my man, Mike Tyson, pound it. All right, this guy's got the best ride in the house. I don't know which one's Siegfried and which one's Roy, but he's got the white tiger ride right there. That's a real tiger. 100%. America looks legit. We're going to a secret 4D experience. Glasses on. Yeah, baby. 4D movie experience was really cool, and uh, I feel like I want to watch it in Vive as well. Vegas where you see a volcano going off every hour on the hour of that magnitude. So this building's really cool. The lights constantly are moving. <laughs> so much money put into every square inch of this place. All right, just getting settled in the hotel. I'm gonna get some ice and a bottle of water and we're gonna get settled in here a little bit. guys well that is all I have for you today uh, thanks for hanging out with me and 
Yes, I am in Las Vegas and we have some huge plans for Las Vegas. We have some more special guests, so stick around. I am filming daily this week, so there's a new video every day, so check back. Tomorrow there will be another video. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I'll see you next time.